today we're gonna be wrapping an interior piece on my truck never ne i've never wrapped anything before in my life so this is gonna be a learning experience for me as well um i'm gonna be wrapping the bezel um i was i was trying to find a carbon fiber one online um i don't know i was just thinking about it and i was like i kind of I, I would kind of like a carbon fiber look on it um so i went ahead and i looked some stuff up and i was not lucky i did not find anything um i did see that they sold some carbon fiber kits uh, i wasn't really too interested in that because i actually wanted forged carbon um i don't know i personally just like i personally just like how forged carbon looks more than just regular carbon fiber but yeah so i went ahead and i ordered some stuff from amazon i will show you guys right now what i ordered i know the scenery might look a little different to you guys um but my my cars now have a roof over their heads <laughs> um so yeah all right let me show you guys all right so here's the forge carbon here's the forge carbon i went with i just looked it up on that on amazon and I chose like the uh, and I chose like the first one that appeared right there with the best reviews. So here, here's that. Um, I bought the cheapest heat gun from Amazon, <laughs> which was like ten dollars, I believe. So yeah, here's the heat gun. Let's see if it actually works. And right here, I bought some things that will facilitate the wrapping process. Comes with like. Uh, with some cutters and a squeegee like thing. So yeah, here here they here they are. So these are here. Oh and it also comes with some pre precise cutters right here. So yeah, that's definitely gonna make the process a lot easier. Alright, I'm pretty excited to try this out. Alright, let's go ahead and remove this bezel. I left a comment on AZ Auto Wheel Domestics page on Instagram that they should make a forged carbon bezel and hopefully they see it because they did they did ask for some suggestions so I mean who knows maybe maybe sometime in the future I'll be I'll be getting one of those if they do decide to make it and um because I, I do want to get one of their steering wheels um because I'm tired of looking at, at this old steering wheel that's already kind of coming apart so yeah that would that would be nice all right let's get this bezel off and don't forget guys whenever you guys are taking off a bezel don't forget to turn the key on and put it all the way in first because if not it will not come out all right well apparently my truck's name is adolfo <laughs> um so yeah here here it is. It's off. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, eventually they do make a forged carbon one. But for now, I guess the wrap's going to have to do. Um, I hope it comes out nice. Never, never done this before. But hey, I have, I have some pretty good hopes. So this truck was built on... October 21st of 2004. I was born on 99. I'm a few years older than this truck. Not by much, but yeah. That's crazy. Um so yeah, this is this is what it looks like with it off. Let me put it back in park. I want to have it first. Turn the key off so the battery doesn't die. And all right, let's get to wrapping. All right, make sure you guys clean up your surface pretty good so this right here does not have any trouble sticking so yeah after you do that you you're all ready to go all right here goes nothing all right so now i cut the piece that i need um so yeah well never mind let's not go as planned yeah no i do not know how to do this and I tried doing it and I could not do it so yeah 
There's that. And apparently it wasn't big enough either, so. I'm gonna have to find a place that does hydro dipping or I'm just gonna have to wish for the best and beg AZ Auto Wheel Domestic to make a forged carbon one. <laughs> so, yeah. This was an epic fail. This is what it was supposed to look like, but as you guys can see, it uh, all just went to crap. Um, it is what it is. You love and learn. Like I said, I had never done this before, so yeah, I mean, but I didn't think it was gonna go this poorly. <laughs> but, oh well. Well, now I'm honestly just fucking around now. All right, let's see what I could cut up. Well, it looks like we have the finished product right here. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's sort of what it was supposed to look like. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, wrapping is definitely not my gig. <laughs> but to be fair, it was the first time I ever did it, so can't really knock myself too, too hard on it. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's see what it looks like on. Let's see what it looks like with it on. I guess this Forge Carbon looks a little better on the Mighty Max. <laughs> well, can't let it go to waste, right? Can't let it go to waste, right? Let's wrap the little Mitsubishi logo. Alright, here goes nothing. Well, there it is. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Oh, check, the, check out the Mighty Max. <laughs> Has forged carbon mirrors, forged carbon roof. Has a McLaren engine. What else do you guys want? <laughs> yeah. Typical YouTubers ruining cars always. <laughs> oh God. This Mighty Max is mighty and it lives up to its name. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, um, I don't know. I just had to have a little fun with it after it didn't go as planned. Um, so yeah. Ah, uh, here's, here's my truck um, on this hot, sunny day. It's about, it's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, oh, by the way, happy 4th of July. Today is 4th of July. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this video, but yeah. I hope you guys had a good one. So yeah, let me tell you guys. This heat gun works pretty well. Even though it was only $10, it actually works. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is a good buy right here. Here's the box it came in. No, looks a little funky. But it works, so that's all I have to say about it. Um, I still have a little bit of wrap left over. Comment down below, guys. What would you guys like me to wrap next? Um, something small. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I bought all this right here to wrap something. Hoping I could make a good video for you guys, but... Um, but that did not happen, unfortunately, but 
It's all good. It's all good. It's not the end of the world. Now let's see what this bezel looks like on this truck. All right, so we have the half wrapped bezel right here. Let's put it on. And boom, there you go. You have the finished product right here. Yeah, I mean, let's ignore this right here. Ignore this over here. It would look pretty great. But, yeah, that's how it would have sort of looked like. Something like this. So, it's going to be time to remove it now, unfortunately. So, yeah. I am sorry, guys. I am sorry for letting y'all down. So, yep, here's the end of that. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, there you go. Looks... It looks the same as when we started. So yeah, here's here's a little piece that I took off. There it is. <laughs> but to make to make up for it, I can give you guys a little cold start. Just a little cold start. Let's do a little cold start. That's enough of that right now. Since I'm not gonna, since I'm not gonna pull it out right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting a little, a little tired of the sound. I kind of want something a little louder. If you guys know what I mean. I don't know. I might want to switch the resonators or something along those lines. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Comment down below what you guys would like to see. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your guys' support. We are currently sitting at 2,190 something subscribers. So from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. So yeah, scenery is a little different right now. I'm, I'm definitely in a, in a different country right now. So there's that. So I'll see if I make some content from here for you guys so yeah all right guys peace out